In today's video, I'm just going to review a couple of the things that I talked about a couple of days ago in the S&P futures. And I think some people misunderstand, um, you know, some of the stuff that I talk about, so I need to explain it a little bit better. Now, one of the things that I did say was that if we took out the resistance here, that we should ultimately look for higher prices eventually. Now, does that mean that you're supposed to buy new highs and hope that it continues higher? Hell no. What you want to do if you don't want to risk a ridiculous amount of money is you wait for a pullback where the risk is clearly defined. And one of those pullbacks, believe it or not, I put out at 2.30 in the morning after I flew through a thunderstorm to get to Atlanta, then didn't have my uh, rental car available, then couldn't even get an Uber that could figure out where the hell to pick us up in the airport and all that good stuff. But there was a decision, okay? And if you would have logged in last night, you would have found it. It was basically the 618 retracement of the prior low to high swing. This is the daily S&P uh, June contract. And then the 100% projection of this prior decline. And it looks slightly different on the other chart, but guess what? Here, your risk is clearly defined, okay? If you looked at the support and you saw buy signals against it, at that point, your risk was right underneath here. You don't want to be a buyer up here and then potentially risk down here. That's pretty much the definition of insanity. So this is the way I have to look at it now. I'm still thinking that we could eventually head towards this 1272 extension. But remember, you have to wait for the pullbacks if you want to keep the edge in the market. So if this high to low swing is going to hold up, your potential upside target is going to be the 1272 extension. And that comes in at the 2385 area. And then the second target would be the 2397 area. Now let's take a look at that on a lower time frame chart. And actually it's not that much lower, but... It is the 120 minute chart of S&P futures. And the way that I found this um, last night was basically 100% of this prior decline projected from here, 618 retracement. There were also some extensions of these prior swings that overlapped this area that gave us that support, right? So again, typical target is going to be the 1272 extension. But in this process, you also want to show or identify what's in the way of a continued rally. And in this case, there's a 618 retracement of the prior high to low that also overlaps 100% of this prior swing. Okay, so this is what we need to see. If this last low is truly any good, and if it's going to extend to the upside towards at least this minimum target, we need to clear this 2161 area by a decent margin. If we do, the odds increase for a continued rally towards that target. If we fail to clear that area, then don't be surprised if the market actually does fail and give us more on the downside instead. Okay, so remember to take this work from one decision to the next. We had this decision that came in, I don't know if it was last night or in the morning, you know, last uh, <laughs> travel yesterday you just put me in a total fog, but um, this is your next immediate decision to fail or not to fail against this 2361 area in S&P futures.